Now to more breaking news. We're following a building collapse in Brooklyn. All four stories of a brick structure came crashing down. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live on the scene in Bedford-Stuyvesant. Tony. Maurice, several minutes of shock and fear here in Bed-Stuy after this building collapse, but things quickly turned a sense to a sense of relief as people came to realize that no one was seriously injured. A picture posted on Instagram shows the cloud of dust as tons of rubble blew out after the collapse at 1438 Fulton Street. This was a vacant building that was being prepped for demolition. The fourth floor somehow collapsed onto the third, which then pancaked onto the second, and that sent bricks and wood flying out onto this very busy shopping street. We're currently having the building assessed by the uh, engineer from the Department of Buildings for evaluation of uh, structural integrity. I was just walking right here and I just heard a big kaboom. I was like, what happened? And a lot of smoke, it was a lot of smoke. Dust? Yeah, dust, it was a lot of dust. I heard a bang and I was wondering what happened. So you I came out? out? Yes, because I live right over there. And I came out and I looked and the whole building came down. That building been closed over 20 years plus. The NYPD Special Operations Unit tweeted pictures as rescuers and dogs searched the rubble. Again, the good news is the building was vacant. The only injuries are minor injuries to passers-by. The Department of Buildings says no outstanding violations at this demolition site. A full investigation is underway into the cause of the collapse. They are concerned about the adjoining building, which is occupied. They're temporarily vacating that building as engineers go through to make sure that it's structural integrity is intact. And because of this collapse with the subway right under Fulton Street, subway service is being affected in both directions through central Brooklyn. So if you have to travel this way on the A or the C, prepare for possible delays. Live in Bedside, Brooklyn, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.